readings dear learners research is considered the single most important skill while preparing for a model un conference research enables a delegate to give precise speeches that are rich in points and are backed by facts research enables a delegate to clearly understand the agenda and estimate the position of their fellow delegates with respect to this agenda research would help delegates properly form an argument and articulate their stance in the committee research not only helps the delegates but also the committee dais members the research would help the committee dais include realistic portfolios in the committee and help them quickly identify the committee if it moves away from the agenda and course correct immediately this would also help the committee dais better assess the delegates performance in the committee depending on the portfolio's relation to the agenda keeping this important role of research in model un in our minds let us understand various areas we need to focus in order to research effectively pause this video for 2 minutes and think about three types of information one needs to gather for effective model un research your possible areas could be numerical and statistical data historical background factual data political background and legal basis these types of information are very important in not only understanding the portfolio committee and the agenda in a holistic manner but also help develop sufficient confidence among the participants for the expression of their knowledge keeping this in mind we will now proceed to discuss three rather generalized stages of research one has to cover in order to be an effective delegate in their conference these are committee research agenda research and finally the portfolio research under the committee research one needs to understand the ways in which their committee functions with respect to the powers and jurisdictions of their committee two important sources for this can be the un charter and the official websites of the constitutions of their portfolios committee research is important and should be done prior to exploring your agenda and your portfolio for you to understand which aspect of the agenda you are covering before the research begins for example if your allotted committee is the unhrc your primary focus during your agenda research would be from a human rights point of view and this is where understanding the role and powers of your committee before the agenda research proves vital once you have an understanding of your committee's powers functions and jurisdictions you move into the stage of the agenda research with the understanding of what your committee can achieve your scope for research will be more fine tuned and specific thus reducing the general research areas into specific areas of the agenda focused on exploring the agenda and your portfolio stands on it the agenda research is divided into four parts the story data solutions and blocks In journalism the word story is used for any kind of event incident or topic and in this stage of research we use this term in a similar sense it's important to understand that every agenda follows some kind of a story which gives one an understanding of who did what for what reason and what were its consequences a story gives us the major framework of what why and how of the agenda and helps us form a base for our further research An example of this can be the ongoing Russia Ukraine conflict where Russia attacks Ukraine primarily because Ukraine wants to become a part of the NATO that threatens Russia's security interests in the region. Here we can know who the major players are namely Russia, Ukraine and NATO who did what and why and understand its consequences. A great source of the story can be Wikipedia. However, Wikipedia is not considered to be a reliable source since anyone can add edit or subtract from its content thus whenever you are getting your research from wikipedia find the sources part of the statement and confirm its authenticity if it comes from a reliable source such as a reputed academic journal and official document or a government survey among others only then can you consider it to be authentic a similar source is youtube with its videos and documentaries which are bit more authentic since most of them come from academic professionals students or journalists such as the crash course series or come from trusted media houses such as the bbc history channel or the pbs who are often open about their sources of research and data for one to go back and confirm an important thing here is to note that platforms such as newspapers youtube videos and wikipedia among others are accessible by all the delegates and this allows for a large overlap of points in relation to the agenda 
it reaches a saturation stage where all the points are similar and the committee is taken only in one direction here it's important for delegates to present a variety of points but if you want to stand out in terms of points and research from the rest of the delegates then the single most important source of information for you can be the government issued documents each government on their policies put up their official documents on their websites which are easy to access but are long and many times complex to read thus not many participants go through these and each participant who does views it from a different point of view making it a unique part of research for every delegate after understanding the major players and the core story of the agenda we proceed to the data which are factual and statistical dates of key events names of important people and organization is involved and the legal documents related to the agenda are the factual data in the story research there can be multiple points of controversy which should be clarified through factual data an example of this could be confirming the effects of climate change which is a controversial topic in itself thus whenever a topic comes out to be controversial confirm it from official valid sources these sources as mentioned can be official documents personal accounts or official websites among others now a highly acceptable source for this can be news outlets such as the cnn and bbc al jazeera to name a few these can also be accounts from books or research papers written by diplomats politicians or journalists which can prove to be a great source to find factual data additionally reports of un officials on these matters and additional reports by members of states can also be referred to gain additional points on this area now we move ahead for statistical or numerical data which are numbers graphs and survey results among others that aim to provide proof of the factual data it's essentially by analyzing the possible causes of these numerical data that we end up with the hard facts thus when we come to the second part of the statistical data you can use two very authentic sources one is the official records or the census data or the un official data from the un reports these records and official documents are openly available on official websites of the country or organization you are trying to find data on the second important source is the cia fact book which has authentic data about each and every country in the world and is of great help while preparing for speeches after this stage we have all sets of basic information about the committee helping us understand the proposed solution from the past and arrive at our very own solutions these solutions should be addressed at larger issues but should be specific in nature an example of this can be sustainable development goals which addresses large scale issues such as climate change and systematic inequalities but are also specific in identifying various areas of its application following this we try to understand the political outcomes of this research we understand how these facts and data lead to political outcomes causing different members to form blocks supporting a set of solutions and others opposing it or suggesting solutions that are in conflict with each other after studying the committee and the agenda thoroughly the delegates are clear about what one can do in the given committee how one can do it in relation to the facts of the ground and with whom can one do it with by understanding the various blocks that might be formed in the committee with this understanding the delegates reach the final stage of research the portfolio research here delegates use their prior knowledge about the committee and especially the agenda and research about their portfolio stands on the matters that are going to be dealt in the committee example a delegate represents russia in unhrc with the agenda of human rights violations during russia ukraine conflict here the delegates firstly understand the powers of unhrc and understands various instances of human rights violations in the conflict and finally understands russia's stance on these violations in understanding this stance the delegate should focus not only on russia's official statements defending itself but also on its allegations towards ukraine for their human rights violations against the surrendered russian soldiers or ethnic russians in ukraine when a delegate prepares themselves for the committee research one has to keep in mind that there are three types of portfolios direct indirect and indifferent let us understand this through an example of russia ukraine conflict once again in this russia ukraine and the representatives of the disputed donbas territory are to be considered direct portfolios since the agenda revolves around them nato 
USA, EU, Belarus among others are considered to be indirect portfolios since they are indirectly affected by this conflict and thus are playing a major role in the conflict externally. Finally, there are indifferent portfolios which have nor officially declared their stance on the issue not are significantly affected by the agenda like nations of Somalia, South Africa or Australia. Now, the importance of a portfolio is also determined based on the committee. Coming back to the earlier example, these nations might not be considered indirect portfolios if the committee was an economic committee like ECOSOC or WTO since their trade relations with Russia have been affected by this war. Additionally, there are committees with members who have comparatively weaker role in the final decision making such as the non-permanent members of the UNSC who do not have a veto power or the observer states of any committee that have no voting rights on substantial matters at large. Thus, it's important to remember that during the registration process, one should select one's portfolio preference based on one's committee and its respective agenda in order to ensure a naturally strong presence in the committee. However, it's important to understand that delegates can perform well and can be awarded in the committee even with comparatively out-focused portfolios if one's research is good in terms of points and solutions and one's understanding of the overall committee is adequate. If one represents a country, one can go and check the official website of their foreign ministry to understand their relationship with other nations and their relation to the agenda. For those representing individuals or organizations, newspapers can be a great source of understanding the stance. After this stage, the delegates are essentially prepared for the committee and are expected to have adequate knowledge of one's committee, agenda and portfolio. Traditionally, Research is done by taking data of all types and forming an opinion based on that. But in Model UN, it is different. In Model UN, one does not aim to develop one's personal beliefs over an issue. Instead, all the delegates represent a state and an organization or a person and have also the responsibility to defend their opinions. Thus, from the start of one's research, a delegate should try and understand the portfolio stance, why is it so, and focus on gathering information to defend that stance. Now let us summarize our learning. Model UN research starts with the committee research that focuses on studying the powers, functions and jurisdictions of one's allotted committee. Secondly, this process moves into the agenda research where the delegates understand the story, data, solutions and blocks that are formed in relation to the agenda. Finally, there is the portfolio research where delegates determine one's portfolio's place firstly in relation to the agenda and within the committee structure. Additionally, it's important to note that in any research, one of the most important things a delegate can do is going through one's background guide, as through this, one can understand the expectations that one's conference has in relation to the direction of the committee and make sure that one's research is going in an authentic direction. Linked after this segment are a few websites and sources from where you can gain authentic information. In our next video, we'll explore the skills of public speaking. Thank you.